Hey everybody, uh, this is uh, sine and cosine graphs. So here we're uh, writing equations of the sine and cosine graph. And if you hear my fan in the background, that's because it's hot and my air conditioner is broke. So um, I'm sorry. Uh, what are the key features of the graphs of the sine and cosine functions? Okay, let's get started here. So my kiddos have uh, notebook quizzes. So uh, let's write an equation that represents the graph. Okay. So. Can you see this starts at zero and sine and cosine graphs are the exact same, you guys, except one's a, they call it later, we'll learn later, a phase shift of the other. So they're the same. So this one is a sine graph because it starts at zero and here ends at zero, halfway at zero, halfway at two, halfway at negative two. So that's the amplitude of that two. Okay. So that's what that says, and so if we graph those guys, um, uh, we can get uh, those parts right there. So there's uh, 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 the start at zero, the end at zero right here, halfway at zero, and then uh, since the max is two and the min is two, you know, I did this in my class, and I, I should have done it on this video. This is the one sine wave, and then just keep repeating. So if it, it just goes up and it goes, sorry about that messiness. But that's the sine wave, and it just keeps going and going and going. So here is one period right there, okay? So uh, the period is 2, not 2 pi. The period is 2. So let's go back to the last lesson and, and uh, section I. So the period is determined by the number that's in front of the angle. So, so if we have y equals the cosine of kx, then uh, the period is uh, 2 pi over k because our, our old period was um, uh, happened in 2 pi. So here um, uh, it happens in just 2. So I know 2 pi is not the same as 2. two. Okay, one of my students asked me, Gerard asked me today, is uh, 2 pi the same as 2? Well, no, it's not. Um, uh, 2 pi is 2 times 3.14, which is 6.28, which is not the same as 2. Okay, so um, so here we got to do 2 pi divided by 2 to get the period. So here we go. Um, so the amplitude is 2. So uh, to find that, we di uh, divide 2 pi divided by the period, and we get pi. So there's our equation right there. Okay, so, so 2 pi divided by the period, which is 2 in this case, because the period starts and ends at 0, halfway at 0. Halfway at one, halfway at negative one. So there's one sine period right there in two. So we take that two and we divide it this length of the period, divide that uh, into into two pi. Okay, here's another one. Okay, so uh, I asked my students today, what what do you think this is? A sine or cosine? Well, this one's a sine back here because it goes through the origin. All right, we'll learn later that uh, they could be both, but, but for now, um, this one is, does not go through the origin, so it's got to be cosine, okay? So the cosine curve uh, starts and ends at 1, halfway at negative 1, and halfway at 0, okay? So if I, if I graph those guys, it starts and ends at 1, halfway at negative... Here, let's do this. Starts here, ends here, okay? So it's not 1... It's actually negative one fourth right there, halfway at positive one fourth. So, so these are all multiplied by negative one fourth. Okay, so, so uh, that's what a is. So a, our amplitude is uh, a negative one fourth. Okay, so so far we know this is a cosine curve, and and a is negative one fourth. Okay, so the period here is 10 because uh, one cycle of the cosine curve happens right here in 10. So if we take uh, 2 pi, which is our regular cosine curve, the cosine curve happens in 2 pi, two pi and then we divide that by 10 because that's what we divided by was uh, what our period uh, ends in. 2 pi divided by 10 is pi over 5, okay? So the amplitude is negative 1 fourth because it's getting flipped. It's going down. And um, uh, because uh, cosine starts and ends at one, so here would be starting and, and up where, uh, no, up here, starting and ending at one, halfway at negative one, somewhere down here. So I've got my dog on that. 
Um, but this one's negative one fourth is being flipped upside down. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Okay, there's an equation right there. Okay, all right. So here, th what's this one? Uh, uh, sine or cosine? Well, since it doesn't go through the, the origin, uh, this one's going to be a cosine curve. And this one's starting and ending at two. So the amplitude is going to be two right there, okay? And uh, the period is from zero to three. Okay, oh, well, I said zero to four right there. Oh my gosh, the students didn't even catch that. So, uh, no, I'm sorry, it's down here. Not, I didn't catch that. So, it's from zero to four right there because here's one cosine curve right there. Okay, so we take uh, two pi and we divide it by four and we get pi over two. That's the number that goes in front of the angle. Okay, so uh, amplitude's two and uh, the number in front is pi over two. Okay, so let's try this one. Okay, this one goes through the origin. This one's a cosine curve. Okay, so it starts and, and ends at zero, halfway at zero, halfway at one, but here it's one half, halfway at negative one, which is negative half. So the amplitude is one half, and the period goes from uh, zero to pi over two. So um, uh, what we're going to do is do two pi divided by pi over two, which is 2 pi times 2 over 5. Remember, we invert and multiply, and uh, we get 4. That's the number that goes in front of the angle. There's our answer right there. All right, you guys, if you're in my class, that's going to be your side. Take care.